I'm Sheila Hemphill with Texas Right to Know. I have been advocating for integrative and functional medicine since 2008. Given this current coronavirus outbreak, there are numerous natural and prescription therapies that have been documented to be beneficial for the treatment of COVID-19, but they lack FDA approval. The CDC's website states that there's no treatment. It is this precept that there is no treatment that is responsible for the fear that is taking hold of our nation, causing us to have this social distancing and this quarantine and the lockdowns, which is devastating our economies. For the next few minutes, I would like to share with you the research that is taking place internationally regarding the use of oxygen ozone therapy. This therapy is referred to as major autohemo, which consists of basically the patient donating blood about 200 milliliters into an, a bag utilizing an ozone generator that utilizes as medical grade oxygen to create ozone, which is simply three molecules of oxygen. That's what ozone is, a naturally occurring gas. The gas of ozone should not be inhaled because in large quantities, it can be toxic. Ozone, when delivered to the blood, helps oxidate the blood. Reports coming from Italy, Spain, China, and numerous European countries have been utilizing ozone for the treatment of COVID for several months. Their reports are astounding. Oxygen ozone therapy is success for COVID-19 in Italy. Non-inhibited patients, 94% of them recover. In inhibited patients who are ventilated, 73% of them recover. You contrast this Within the United States, particularly in New York, we are seeing 80% fatalities of patients who have exacerbated to requiring ventilation. The research coming out of Italy is stating that these patients are not dying from a pneumonia symptomology, but rather from a cytokine storm creating coagulation and pulmonary embolisms. Dr. Rodolfo Antonaro, a top Italian cardiologist, his statements that COVID-19 kills because it causes pulmonary embolism, for which forced ventilation has no effect because the peripheral vessels of the lung are closed and oxygen cannot get into the blood. So you have to find a way to oxidate the blood by bypassing the lungs. This is why major autohemo infusions with ozone, known as MAH, are made to ensure that the blood is oxygenated efficiently and abundantly. Where there's a shortage of oxygen in the blood, it happens that the heart, kidneys, and brain enter a suffering condition that can generate irreversible damage. So I would urge those who are listening to this video to engage and find out more about this amazing oxygen ozone therapy. According to reports from Italy, China, Spain, and other countries utilizing ozone, ozone therapy, is successful in the treatment of COVID. Where we find ourselves in the United States is in limbo, where we have a CDC that says there's no treatment. We have FDA that says there's no approval. We have medical board rules that said unless a patient is given the generally accepted standard of care that the physicians are in violation. The current standard of care includes infection prevention, and control measures and supportive care, including supplemental oxygen, mental ventilation support when indicated. These therapies that do not comply with standard of care can be done under complementary alternative medicine rules that I know are in the state of Texas. And on uh, June 12th, 2020, at the Texas Medical Board meeting, we got great clarity on how that is permissible, that the doctors would simply need to document that uh, they have tried conventional therapies, if any exists, which they don't, then the doctor can document and be able to utilize oxygen ozone therapy for the treatment of COVID. Please visit my website at texasrighttoknow.com. Learn about the over 2,800 different research studies that have been done on ozone over the last 100 years. With all of these uh, treatments taking place, there have not been documented adverse effects from the use of ozone. In several instances, they are citing uh, negative swabs in as few as five treatments. So again, this treatment basically consists of a person donating blood, bubbling ozone 
which is generated from a device utilizing medical oxygen and taking a syringe with the gas, putting it in the bag of blood and giving it back to the patient. This is being done either one to two times a day depending if uh, different countries utilize different protocols. There are currently seven different clinical trials taking place in the world. Two in Italy, two in Spain, three in China. I urge those listening to this, please contact me at texasrighttoknow.com. What we are needing is participation, particularly from hospitals, because this is where these critical patients reside. We have many physicians who utilize ozone in their private practices. However, these physicians do not have hospital privileges. So I ask you to please help me get this information to the appropriate party so that we can begin our own U.S. clinical trials utilizing ozone. We too can start providing treatment for COVID and stop the fear, stop the quarantines, and stop the lockdowns. I invite you to visit Texas Right to Know and learn more. Thank you.